Arangel Yokuri. Arangel Yokuri born on the 12th of September 1897 die on the 17th of March 1956, was a French chemist, physicist and politician, the elder daughter of Pierre and Marie Curie, and the wife of Frédéric Julio Curie. Jointly with her husband, Julio Curie was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1935 for their claimed discovery of induced radioactivity, making them the second ever married couple, after her parents, to win the Nobel Prize, while adding to the Curie family legacy of five Nobel Prizes. This made the Curies the family with the most Nobel laureates to date. She was also one of the first three women to be a member of a French government, becoming undersecretary for scientific research under the Popular Front in 1936. Both children of the Joliot Curies, Hélène, and Pierre, are also prominent scientists. In 1945, she was one of the six commissioners of the new French Alternative Energies and Atomic Energy Commission, CA, created by de Gaulle and the Provisional Government of the French Republic. She died in Paris on March 17, 1956 from an acute leukemia linked to her exposure to polonium and X-rays. As she neared the end of her doctorate in 1924, Berin Curie was asked to teach the precision laboratory techniques required for radiochemical research to the young chemical engineer Frédéric Joliot, whom she would later wed. From 1928 Joliot Curie and her husband Frédéric combined their research efforts on the study of atomic nuclei. In 1932, Joliot Curie and her husband Frédéric had full access to Marie's polonium. Experiments were done using gamma rays to identify the positron. Though their experiments identified both the positron and the neutron, they failed to interpret the significance of the results and the discoveries were later claimed by Carl David Anderson and James Chadwick respectively. These discoveries would have secured greatness indeed, as together with J.J. J. Thomson's discovery of the electron in 1897, they finally replaced John Dalton's model of atoms as solid spherical particles. However, in 1933, Julio Curie and her husband were the first to calculate the accurate mass of the neutron. The Joliot Curies continued trying to get their name into the scientific community, in doing so they developed a new theory from an interesting experiment they conducted. During an experiment bombarding aluminium with alpha rays, they discovered that only protons were detected. Based on the undetectable electron and positron pair, they proposed that the protons changed into neutrons and positrons. Later in October 1933, this new theory was presented to the 7th Salve Conference. The Salve Conferences consisted of prominent scientists in the physics and chemistry community. Irene and her husband presented their theory and results to their fellow scientists, but they received criticism of their finding from most of the 46 scientists attending. However they were able to build on the controversial theory later on. In 1934, the Joliot Curies finally made the discovery that sealed their place in scientific history. Building on the work of Marie and Pierre Curie, who had isolated naturally occurring radioactive elements, the Joliot Curies realized the alchemist's dream of turning one element into another, creating radioactive nitrogen from boron, radioactive isotopes of phosphorus from aluminium, and silicon from magnesium. Irradiating the natural stable isotope of aluminium with alpha particles, i.e., helium nuclei, resulted in an unstable isotope of phosphorus, 27 Al plus 4 He 30 P plus 1 N. This discovery is formally known as positron emission or beta decay, where a proton in the radioactive nucleus changes to a neutron and releases a positron and an electron neutrino. By then, the application of radioactive materials for use in medicine was growing and this discovery allowed radioactive materials to be created quickly, cheaply, and plentifully. The Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1935 brought with it fame and recognition from the scientific community and Julio Curie was awarded a professorship at the Faculty of Science. Irene's group pioneered research into radium nuclei that led a separate group of German physicists, led by Otto Hahn, Lisa Meitner, and Fritz Strassmann, to discover nuclear fission, the splitting of the nucleus itself, emitting vast amounts of energy. 
Lisa Meitner's now famous calculations actually disproved Irene's results to show that nuclear fission was possible. In 1948, using work on nuclear fission, the Joliot Curies along with other scientists created the first French nuclear reactor. The Joliot Curies were a part of the organization in charge of the project, the Atomic Energy Commission, Commissariat à l'Energie Atomique, CEA. Oren was the commissioner of the CEA and Irene's husband, Frédéric, was the director of the CEA. The reactor, Zoé, Zero Energy Oxide at O Lord, used nuclear fission to generate 5 kilowatts of power. This was the beginning of nuclear energy as a source of power for France. Because of the work of the Joliot Curies, France in 2020 generates approximately 75% of its electricity from nuclear energy. France also exports surplus energy to other European countries. Years of working so closely with radioactive materials finally caught up with Julio Curie and she was diagnosed with leukemia. She had been accidentally exposed to polonium when a sealed capsule of the element exploded on her laboratory bench in 1946. Treatment with antibiotics and a series of operations relieved her suffering temporarily but her condition continued to deteriorate. Despite this, Julio Curie continued to work and in 1955 drew up plans for new physics laboratories at the Orsay Faculty of Sciences, which is now a part of the Paris Saclay University, south of Paris. Political Views The Joliot Curies had become increasingly aware of the growth of the fascist movement. They opposed its ideals and joined the Socialist Party in 1934, the Comité de Vigilance des Intellectuals Antifascists a year later and in 1936 they actively supported the Republican faction in the Spanish Civil War. In the same year, Julio Curie was appointed Under Secretary of State for Scientific Research by the French government, in which capacity she helped in founding the Center National de la Recherche Scientifique. Frédéric and Aren visited Moscow for the 220th anniversary of the Russian Academy of Science and returned sympathizing with Russian colleagues. Frédéric's close connection with the Communist Party caused Arin to later be detained on Ellis Island during her third trip to the U.S., coming to speak in support of Spanish refugees, at the Joint Antifascist Refugee Committee's invitation. The Joliot Curies had continued Pierre and Marie's policy of publishing all of their work for the benefit of the global scientific community, but afraid of the danger that might result should it be developed for military use, they stopped on October 30, 1939. They placed all of their documentation on nuclear fission in the vaults of the French Academy of Sciences, where it remained until 1949. Julio Curie's political career continued after the war and she became a commissioner in the Commissariat à l'Energie Atomique. However, she still found time for scientific work and in 1946 became director of her mother's Institut Curie. Julio Curie became actively involved in promoting women's education, serving on the National Committee of the Union of French Women and the World Peace Council. The Joliot Curies were given memberships to the French Légion d'Honneur, Oren as an officer and Frédéric as a commander, recognizing his earlier work for the resistance. In 1956, after a final convalescent period in the French Alps, Julio Curie was admitted to the Curie Hospital in Paris where she died on 17 March at the age of 58 from leukemia, possibly due to radiation from polonium-210. Frederick's health was also declining, and he died in 1958 from liver disease, which too was said to be the result of overexposure to radiation. Thanks for watching Herdery Channel. Don't forget to like the video. And subscribe our channel.